Okay, speaking of changes, it's going to happen in our weather. How do you like that little transition? Ooh, I, I liked it. Going through changes. <laughs> yeah, all of us. Not to discount how gorgeous today and, you know, the past couple of days have been. I'm a big proponent for living in the moment, mm -hmm. embracing what we've got outside right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be as nice for the weekend. It's all changing. I think it'll do okay tomorrow, but the change is afoot as we speak. Right now, it's beautiful, but any cloud that you do see in our sky, is associated with that system down in Florida. I'm gonna show you everything here in just a bit, but right now, lovely day, 70 degrees. You maxed out today at 71, three degrees off the mark. For tonight, no weather worries out there, not for the evening hours, 59 degrees, you're just fine and dandy. Getting into your day tomorrow, high temperature, 71. Okay, just like today, it's an okay day. Pretty good day, in fact, but it's just not as perfect because we're gonna see increasing clouds start to fill in. The list I put together, Man, this is what we focus on. The issue is Saturday and Sunday. Of the two, I think Saturday looks to be the worst day, and there's a good chance we're talking sizable rainfall. And now, sizable rainfall for anybody in the area. That's on the table. It's looking much more widespread. A chance for tropical storm force winds, 39 mile per hour gusts, maybe some 50 mile per hour gusts, possibly stronger, especially at the shoreline communities. Here's what we see right now. Nothing, again, a couple of wispy clouds. I showed you them on the pictures. It's a great looking day, just a great looking day. That storm, which is now off the coast of Florida, all right, we think by two o'clock in the morning, it's gonna be bumped up to a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour, 45 mile per hour winds, building to 50, then 60, holding on to 60, and eventually, as it's pushing through our area, it looks to transition to a uh, you know, post-tropical low with still a lot of rain, a lot of wind. It's just you don't have warm air in the middle. That's all that that means. It's not a warm core storm. And if you look at the time frame, all right, you're seeing 2 a.m. on Sunday, still south of the area. But remember the rain field, it expands, all right? It's much larger than wherever you find that center of circulation. So watch how the European is handling this. Here we are, 8 a.m. I'm showing you the European model, which I didn't show you yesterday, right? Because the European was just skimming at our area, giving us very little effects from the storm. And I went yesterday with the middle of the road model, as opposed to, uh, as opposed to showing you everything. I just have to go back to the European because I know so many people, and me too. I love this particular study because they've had such a great track record. Well, now, here we are Saturday morning. We're pretty much getting overrun with rain ahead of the system, right? The system moves right into our area. Here's Sunday, 5 a.m., right on top of us, Sunday, 11 p.m. It looks to be like a weekend rain event for us. Now, is it a tropical storm? No, it's not gonna be a tropical storm by the time it's here. But the winds are still out there and the rain is certainly out there. European, look at this, they were showing nothing from, okay, it was 0.1 for New York City and 0.1 for Greenwich. Those were all zeros yesterday. Now look at this, widespread one to almost four inches of rain. I'll also show you what the graph is saying. All right, the graph yesterday had the biggest numbers of all. They're right in line with the European, one to almost four inches of rain. And yesterday's model that I did show you, the GFS, they've bumped up, it's just much more widespread. A widespread, say, inch and a half to two and a half inches. This looks to be a wet weather weekend for us. So across the board, 71 tomorrow, again, a pretty decent day, but you have those building clouds. And then a red alert for Saturday for wind and rain. Sunday, 66. Some of that rain lingers. Monday, it's a leftover chance. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week uh, look to be, you know, really nice weather days. And we were talking earlier, I keep telling you, the, the woes at my house for my sister-in-law is getting married in the backyard <laughs> on Saturday. And you were great saying, well, it's good luck. Is that the deal? It is good it luck. It is good luck, It's yeah. great luck. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen what? some really dramatic pictures where they're in the rain and they just say the heck with it and they just they've got water yeah. all around them. Just go for it. One of the funnest weddings I've ever been to, it was actually pouring the entire time, but we yeah. had a blast. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. There we go. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Give us pictures. Send us pictures. We, we will. Right, Thanks. Still